Hey guys, in this video I'm going to cover guidelines for allergy skin tests and the different types of them. A skin test is the preferred diagnostic study for allergen testing. It involves administering allergens onto either the skin surface or into the dermis. The skin tests are usually performed on the forearms or the back. Pre-procedure, you'll need to obtain informed consent and the patient should be advised not to apply lotion to the area. Unfortunately, skin testing cannot be performed on patients who have food allergies or if it's unsafe for them to stop taking antihistamines or corticosteroids for at least five days prior to the testing. There are three types, a scratch or prick test, an intradermal test, and a patch test. The scratch test is the most common type of skin test and is also known as the percutaneous test. It entails placing drops of allergens onto the patient's skin and then using a pricking device so the allergens can enter the skin. The reaction occurs quickly so you'll be able to read the results in around 5 to 10 minutes typically. The intradermal test involves injecting the allergen extract under the skin into the dermis. An example of this type of testing is the MAN2 test with PPD, which is used to diagnose tuberculosis. You want to ensure that you're injecting into the intradermal space, as a subcutaneous injection will invalidate the test. Results from intradermal skin tests can also be read after 5 to 10 minutes, except for the TB skin test. Patch testing involves applying patches to which allergens have been applied onto the patient's skin. These must be worn for 48 to 72 hours. After the procedure, you'll want to record the site, date, and time of the test, as well as the date and time for the follow-up site reading. You'll need to monitor the patient for at least 30 minutes after injection to monitor for adverse effects. A positive reaction is indicated by erythema, vesicles, papules, edema, and wheels greater than 0.5 centimeters. Make sure that you also document those signs and measurements as well. Precautions such as having resuscitation equipment nearby and available are essential as these patients are at very high risk for anaphylactic reactions. The patient should never be left alone during testing. If the patient starts having a severe reaction, immediately remove the allergen extracts and apply anti-inflammatory cream. Apply a tourniquet if a severe reaction occurs at the intradermal site. Injection of epinephrine might also be necessary if the patient experiences anaphylactic symptoms. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And check out this video for how to do an allergy assessment. Have a fantastic day.